Now that's in the New Testament, parent number uh, three. And the New Testament, St. Luke, the fourth chapter. Place to place, yeah. uh, 
carried away from their native land. And the temple had been torn down several times and rebuilt. And in the interim, they built what was called synagogues. Yes. When they were not near the temple, they were able to go to the synagogue mm -hmm. on the Sabbath day and yeah. worship in the synagogue. And yeah. then it was used for teaching Jewish males during the week. Yeah. And the requirement to build a synagogue, you had to have at least 10 Jewish families. Yeah. And they would not be in uh, close proximity to the temple. Yeah. And it was more or less what we're doing tonight. They had church. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the Bible said that Jesus, who uh, clearly was the Son of God, uh -huh. uh, better yet, God in the flesh, uh -huh. went to the service every week. Amen. Uh -huh. You did see that, didn't you? Uh -huh. Jesus himself. Uh -huh. Now, either he felt it important, mm -hmm. he needed it, uh -huh. or he was going to see who was dead. <laughs> All right. But one way or the other, the, the scripture said that Jesus attended weekly service uh -huh. at the synagogue. Uh -huh. It said that was his custom. In other words, it was customary. It yeah. was something that he did week after week after yeah. week. Amen. Yeah. You know what customs oh, are. Yeah. You, you have stuff that you customarily do. It. It's not perhaps no uh, sentimental value. It may not even do anything yeah. for you, but there are things that we do. And if you say, why are you doing it? I just customarily <laughs> do it. Uh -huh. There are things that we do. Yeah. And, and there's no real reason for it. Right? That, there's nothing uh, critical that would happen if we didn't do it. Yeah. There's nothing special that would happen if we did. Amen. Uh -huh. yeah. And church really is like that for some yeah. folks. Amen. Uh, there are folk who will go to church. Yeah. Right? yeah. But when they get there, uh -huh. what then uh, that writes a whole nother story. Uh -huh. yeah. There are folk, and I remember we were at the other church, and I tried to uh, explain to folk because some folk would say, I don't know why things are going like this. I go to church every Sunday. That may be why. Yeah. Amen. Because of what you do when you get to church. Yeah. How you conduct yourself in the church. Amen. How you act in and around the church. Sometimes you can cancel out all of your points for going to church. Amen. There are some folk that are in church and they're not a help, but they're a hindrance. Yeah. All right. All right. I ain't going to do nothing and not going to allow nobody else to do that. All right. You know, I've always had a standing rule that you're not going to do that. No bother folk who do want to do that. If you have somehow have gotten weak and allowed somebody to discourage you from doing something, don't you try to further that and discourage somebody else from doing something. There are folk who, when you really uh, sum up what they're doing, uh -huh. it's just customary. And that's all you got. <laughs> all right. Amen. Amen. And I wanted to talk about it tonight because we have mastered the custom. Oh. <laughs> Amen. 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 Most of us know how to come to church. Yeah. All right. And from where we come, we know two or three ways to come. You know what I'm saying? Right. 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 It may take the other state sometimes. Yeah. And then sometimes you go the long way. Uh, Amen. Right. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I get off on Fabio and yeah. then sometimes I get off on Jordan Street. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Just kind of depending on yeah. you, you understand yeah. what kind of time I got or uh, something. Right. But we have mastered coming to church. All right. Most folk know how and when you yeah. come to church. Amen. Almost even on time sometimes. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Most of